Michigan State's defense coming up big when it needed to. Danikos Allen, the big stop on Tyler Gaffney on a critical fourth down as the Spartans defense shut down Stanford in the final three quarters. They get a 24 to 20 win in the 100th playing of the Rose Bowl game. Danikos Allen joining us now on our set. And Danikos, this game changed. It really seemed like after the first quarter, I mean, the first couple of drives, they scored on both of them, won the touchdown, won a field goal. What changed after that? Uh, just our attitude, you know. We knew that we weren't, uh, you know, executing on our on defense and uh, we were giving up, you know, mistakes. And uh, we knew that if we kept doing that, then we had no chance in this game. With the, the uh, magnitude of this game, we knew how serious it was. And uh, for our offense to move the ball like that in the first half, we knew that we had to step our game up and shut them down. And uh, we stepped up and, you know, we rose both champs now. Was there something schematic above and beyond just kind of playing better that you guys did? I mean, was, was there something where, hey, you got the hang of what they were doing? Yeah, I mean, at, at first, you know, we were kind of, you know, getting used to their type of offense and, you know, their, their talent. And, uh, you know, after we got a feel for it, we just took off. And, uh, you know, that's the type of defense we are. And they, we kind of play like that throughout the year. And, uh, you know, no matter what kind of situations we're in, it could be, you know, adverse situations. We've been down, you know, whatever the zero in the last three bowl games going into the half, the second half. And, uh, you know, we persevered and we fought and we, we came out on top. Danikas, we've talked uh, quite a bit, obviously with Bulla not being out there today playing. How different the communication would be with Kyler Ellsworth in there. Was it any different at all? No, it wasn't different at all. You know, he was he was very, you know, vocal throughout the game. And, uh, you know, that I think, you know, it helped our defense a lot. You know, everyone was vocal. You know, I was even talking more, you know, the D-line were talking. And, you know, we were, we're, I don't think we had any, you know, MAs, you know, missed assignments vocally, vocal-wise, you know. And uh, this is great. You know, it's great for people. We got players like that to step up and play, play their heart out, you know, in such a big stage. So. Danico, as you talked about the magnitude of the game, how, how did preparation change because of the bigness of the game? And how did your emotions change maybe in the locker room right before the game because it was such a big game? Our preparation was very intense. You know, we knew we were coming, we were going against, uh, you know, a high power offense that loves to run it. You know, they pride themselves on toughness just like us. So, uh, you know, I think we went live, you know, throughout the whole preparation, you know. Uh, it was just rough, you know, but, you know, it was all well worth it, you know. and. Uh, we came out here well prepared, you know, schematically wise and, you know, attitude wise, our attitude, we, we here, you know, we didn't want to just show up and throw our shoulder pads out there. You know, we knew that we had to show up and actually come to hit and come to play Michigan State football. And that's what we did. Was the locker room more emotional before the game than than other locker rooms? Actually, no, I don't I don't think so. You know, it was, I can compare it to the Big Ten championship game. You know, everyone was kind of focused. You know, and uh, just ready to get after it. You know, but uh, afterwards, you know, it was it was a great scene. You know, uh, we felt we felt like Rose Bowl champs. You know, and it was a great feeling. Was this Stanford team as tough as you guys thought they would be? Yes, they were. You know, they they brought they gave us everything they had, and uh, you know, it was a great challenge for us. You know, I say we stepped up to the challenge, and uh, I want to credit our defensive coordinator and our defensive staff, and uh, just everyone that stepped up on defense. I'm going to take you back to media day. When we sat down and talked, you were concerned about your legs. Yeah. You say, I got to get my legs back. You know, I'm feeling tired. What types of things did you guys do from that point moving to this point to get that rest and get those legs rejuvenated? Oh, uh, you know, the last the last couple of days of preparation, you know, we didn't really go hard. You know, it's kind of more of a walkthrough, you know, just to, you know, touch it up. And, uh, you know, we took a lot of ice baths in our hotel, you know, a lot of rest. You know, no one was allowed to leave the hotel, so we wouldn't be walking around much. But... You know, just little things, you know. It paid off today. Every, I felt fresh in the game, you know. It seems like everyone else felt fresh, so. Certainly looked like you were fresh. <laughs> Seven tackles, one and a half tackles thank for you, loss. Part of a fantastic defensive effort. It's been a great defense all year. Very fitting that it was defense that won Michigan State the Rose Bowl. Danico Salen, congratulations. Had a great year. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank all of you.